Hi, welcome to the Power Wheelchair Comparison where we are going to check out the top power wheelchairs on the market today. Sunrise Medical is a global company. Our primary headquarters is in Germany. Our US uh, headquarters is in Fresno, California. Uh, I have been with the company for 25 years. I started as electronics. I worked uh, my way through engineering and now in product management. Um, the company has been around for about 30 years. Uh, we have a, uh, a mission statement that says we're improving people's lives through innovation, through high quality, uh, products and services and that's really our focus and that's been our focus for 30 years is really to bring innovation when it comes to the areas of mobility and seating. So the QM7 series chair is our newest product. It is our flagship product. It really exemplifies what Sunrise's mission statement of improving people's lives. Q is quickie, mid-wheel drive, the 700 series. You have 710, 715, and 720. The QM715 is the HD model the QM720 is the Group 4 model. The QM710 is a standard Group 3 model. It's a mid-wheel drive chair. It features a suspension system called Spider Track. The Spider Track allows the chair to negotiate obstacles uh, where other products uh, may get high centered or hung up where they would either lose traction or become stuck. So the suspension flexes, acts like a spider, it crawls down. Uh, off of obstacles and through through terrain. There's five and a half inches of articulation in, in the caster arms. Uh, traditional power chairs only have two inches of articulation, which means if you go over any obstacle or through a curb cut of any sort, the drive wheel may lose traction and the person would become stuck. Because of the amount of articulation that's within the front casters, you can really uh, take this chair uh, to places that you would normally would not be able to. You know, if you find a, a four or three or four inch curb, right, uh, like a pallet or something, if you just go off it slowly and allow the front casters to drop, you'll notice that the thing, when it comes off, it actually just squats down. Instead of tip, tipping like this, the chair basically stays straight and then squats down. So a person who would want a QM710 uh, is someone who is going to be active. They're going to be active not only in their home, but outdoors. Because of the spider track suspension, the comfort, the ride, it really gives somebody the ability to ride in the chair for long periods of time. The power features of the QM710 include a tilt, which is a 50 degree CFG tilt, which is a center of gravity. It actually translates forward to keep the center of gravity centered over the wheelbase. It also has a recline. The recline has a power shear reduction. The power shear reduction helps to keep the user in the product, keep their headrest in the, in the right location, their laterals, their armrest, all in the proper location as it goes through the recline. The recline is a 170 degrees of recline. The seat elevator is a combination seat elevator and tilt, so it's a combo unit, and it actually has a 12-inch total seat elevator. Because it's a, a seat elevator and a tilt together, we were able to minimize the amount of space that is required to include both of those options on the chair. Because of that, we're able to maintain and, and start with a low 16-inch seat to floor height. The power center mount that's on this chair will go a full 90 degrees from 90 to 180 elevation, as well as it has seven and a half inches of articulation. So as the leg rest elevates, it also extends to keep the knees uh, in place correctly. And again, this, the foot plate can be lowered to the floor and it has seven and a half inches of adjustment that can be made uh, in, the, in the foot plate. The foot plate itself actually has uh, individual foot plates that are, can be adjusted left and right. They can be adjusted from three inches, a short three inch leg length, to a 19 inch leg length, all within a track on the front. You can do custom pads, custom foot plates uh, to match the person's needs. Our product is the only product that includes that center mount feature with the foot plate that goes to the floor as a standard feature on the chair. There are benefits of being able to do that. You can change the pressure on your, on your feet, your ankles, your legs. To adjust the pressure on your legs by moving the plate up and down throughout the day, but also by moving the plate to the floor, you can do a front pivot assist to transfer out of the product. 
This particular chair with a tilt recline uses what we call cantilevered arms. The cantilevered arm, as it reclines, actually translates backwards and stays level so that the, the user's arm stays in a natural location. For transfers, the armrest is simply just flipped back, clearing the way for somebody to move in and out of the chair. It also has a feature on it that's not on this chair where you could actually lock it down so if you wanted to keep it nice and firm without it flipping back, you could release it and flip it back, but you can also keep it locked. The arm pads on this chair, this particular one has what we call comfort arm pads with gel inserts for extra comfort for somebody who may get uh, sores in their elbows. You can get this in a two inch version as well as a four inch version which provides a nice wide pad for extra comfort. The QM7 series chair uh, has the capability to take advantage of all of our J product lines, including the J cushions, the J backs, the armrest, uh, the headrest, all of those um, including laterals and hip guides and knee adductors and uh, all of the features that you would normally um, get from our J or AES product lines, you can get on chair. So we have those on chair, you can choose those and you can get them fitted on the chair and they actually ship together with the product. So it has a wide range of seating options. Transportation provided by Braun Ability. Locations provided by Illuminate Studios. The Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.